I originally wanted to get into medicine because my father was an OBGYN and growing up in a small community in Southern California, I um, had a lot of peers and uh, people around me that would constantly tell me that uh, my father delivered them or was involved in their um, care or their mother's care and uh, it just always piqued my interest and originally I wanted to be an OBGYN just like my dad but that uh, that changed over time and as I grew up and um, my brother is also a neurosurgeon so he's an older brother and that sort of pushed me in the direction of doing neurosurgery as well. I love practicing in the Tampa Bay area because really Tampa Bay has everything that uh, you would need. Um, it has beaches close by, it has um, culture, it has a, a real vibrant feel to it. And um, I think that uh, overall as a doctor in the Tampa Bay area, the patients are, are just excellent and very uh, thankful for what we can offer them. What I specialize in is neurosurgery, and as a neurosurgeon, we focus our care on treatment of the nervous system. And that generally involves anything from the brain all the way through the, down to the spine. Now, me as um, a spine-focused neurosurgeon, I focus most of my care on problems with the spine. A lot of times, people have back pain or neck pain from degenerative problems in the spine, herniated discs, spinal stenosis, and they come to see us because of pain that they're having or weakness or numbness, and we're able to help them uh, overcome that problem and, and fix it, uh, whether it's from surgical or non-surgical treatments. I think what sets me apart from other surgeons in neurosurgery or in the spine surgery field is that I really do try to take a lot of time to talk to the patients and find out really what the root of the problem is. One of the uh, most challenging things that we deal with is, is figuring out where pain comes from and really talking to patients as well as looking at MRIs and x-rays helps us to figure out where that pain origin is and help to treat them. So I think um, it's really uh, important to sit down and talk as much as possible with the patients. I think the most rewarding part of my job is when we do a surgery for someone that has back and neck pain or arm and leg pain, and they have immediate relief afterwards and they feel great and they want to get up and walk and uh, and do all the things that they haven't been able to do in a long time. <clears throat> One of the most challenging things about my field as a neurosurgeon, uh, I think there are two that pop up in my head. One of them is really trying to find the origin of pain in order to be able to treat it because um, you know, at, at some point, the surgery does not become the hard part. The surgery itself is um, not the most challenging thing. It's really trying to figure out where the pain's coming from in order to offer them the right surgery. Uh, the other challenging aspect to our field is sometimes um, in trauma patients that have uh, bad traumatic brain injuries, is um, seeing these, these patients go through what they do go through. And um, oftentimes we're able to help them overcome this, but sometimes we're not. And I think that's the most challenging part. Before every surgery, I generally will look at the MRI, x-rays and CAT scans and discuss them with one of my partners and just go over the surgery in my head on how to uh, basically get from the start to the end. And uh, the reason we do this is because we don't want to have any surprises during surgery. So 
So I'm a father of two beautiful uh, children, my son and my daughter, they're five and three. Um, and I like to spend as much time as possible with them and my wife, Robin. Um, and I also do like to uh, snowboard and mountain bike. So I try to get out to the mountains as much as I possibly can. Um, other than that, uh, my life is filled with uh, uh, learning more and more about neurosurgery every day.